Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy. Today, it's the Johnny Walker giveaway video where one lucky subscriber is gonna win a two ounce sample of each and every one of these Johnny Walkers, plus a Super Social Club, I sip and I know things whiskey glasses. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm gonna do this as a premiere. So hello to everyone in the chat. I'll be chatting along there with you as we go through the video. Um, first, I wanted to just start with a, just a big thank you for everyone who watched the video, subscribed to the channel, left a comment, left a thumbs up. Um, this video completely exploded on my channel. Something like over 215,000 views in a span of just like 10 to 14 days. Um, my subscriber count went from about 600 to over 4,400. So absolutely thrilled and it's all because of you guys. Thank you so very much. Uh, for all your support with the channel, very, very much appreciated. So one comment um, that I got from this video was what I did with all the uh, leftovers in the glasses. And what I did with that is um, I combined it all into a sample jar. So in here, I have the entire uh, Johnny Walker range, whatever was left over in my Glen Clarins after I shot the video, I poured into here. So I'm just going to pour this now and kind of just drink it as we go through kind of see what it's like, um, what it's like to blend every single Johnny Walker in the core range together and uh, in one glass. So I'm just gonna let that sit for a bit. Um, I just wanted to get to some of the uh, comments um, that you guys left. Really interesting to see what everyone's favorite Johnny Walker was. Um, I kind of calculated what everyone kind of put down as their response as their favorite Johnny Walker. Here it is in a pie graph. So. You can see, obviously, Johnny Walker Green Label was everyone's favorite. 33.5% of you uh, said that was your favorite Johnny Walker. Followed closely behind the Black Label, 24.5%. 20, uh, kind of um, predictable, I guess. Johnny Walker Black, really, really nice staple um, Scott blended Scotch whiskey, one that everyone kind of starts out their whiskey journey having it at some point in time um, through the process. Johnny Walker Double Black, also huge representation, 18.6 of you thought that was your favorite. And then the blue label, the 18-year-old platinum, um, you know, 8.6% uh, platinum, 7.1% blue label. And a couple of other ones kind of thrown in there. Um, one of you liked the Experiment 6 series. I haven't tried that one yet, kind of looking forward to trying that. Island Green, that was another one that people were saying that they really liked. Uh, more than the green label, maybe a little bit heavier in the smoke. I'm pretty sure that is a uh, exclusive to the travel retail market. Haven't tried that one yet. Really like to try that one. Um, White Walker. A couple of you guys, I think there was two or three people that said the White Walker was the best. Um, my review of that is coming up. It will be shortly after this video, so you can check that out. Um, Explorers Club. That was another one. I think that's travel retail only. And there's a series of ones. Um, I think there's like a little... 200 ml pack you can get. So I'll be looking out for that to do as well. And the Johnny Walker Swing. A lot of you were asking, what about the Johnny Walker Swing? I think that bottle has been discontinued. I haven't seen it locally in a very long time. Um, I'll reach out and see if anyone has a bottle so I can bring that on and do that review as well. So kind of interesting to see, you know, where it kind of fell, um, but definitely Johnny Walker Green, one of your favorites for sure. So one other comment I got a lot of was, what about doing this whole range completely blind and really getting like a true idea of what your favorite is? And where I agree that tasting blind whiskey definitely is the best way to determine which one is your favorite and avoid all the biases that are associated with like the labels and like the prestige of the blue label and right down the line. Um, I kind of responded just being like, I'm really familiar with these whiskeys. I've tasted them a lot. Um, you know, up into doing the video, I was tasting them kind of all the time, kind of getting my notes down. Plus I've been, you know, I've been drinking these whiskeys for, you know, years and years and years. Well, you know, four or five years worth of drinking these whiskeys. So I feel like I'm just like too familiar with them. I think I would be able to do a true blind tasting because, you know, the red label is very obvious when you're drinking it. You would know that you're drinking the red label. Same with the double black. It's obviously the smokiest one. You're going to pick up on that right away and know that that's exactly the double black. The blue label, I'm pretty sure I could pick out. The platinum 18 year old, I'm pretty sure I could pick out. And then gold, black, green, maybe I would confuse maybe one of those here and there, but I think for the most part, I'm pretty confident I'd be able to kind of pinpoint 
you know, more or less what, what I'm drinking and when I'm drinking it, which would kind of defeat the whole purpose of doing it blind. So where I agree with you guys that blind tasting definitely is the best way to determine your favorite whiskey of a range, it doesn't really work out if you're familiar with the whiskeys beforehand. Um, so I kind of just made that kind of clear, hopefully in the comments. Um, I do agree blind tasting is the best, yet with these, um, if you're doing it for the first time, for sure, but for myself, who is very familiar with pretty much all of these whiskeys, wouldn't quite work out. Um, let me just go into some more comments because there were some really, really great things uh, you guys had said. Um, for the most part, all the comments were really, really nice. Lots of support, lots of love. Thank you very, very much. Obviously, when your video gets over 200,000 views, you're gonna get some of those internet trolls coming out and you know poking fun at you a bit. Um, but there were some really funny comments. Isaac Levy writes, yo, where them hoes at? I thought this was the strippers social club. Oh, my bad. Sorry, Isaac. Uh, yeah, that's like a kind of different channel, I guess. Um, next up. Uh, Guambat writes, this guy could smell your fart and know what you ate like five years ago. I'm going to take that as a compliment. I think that's a compliment. Thank you very much, uh, Guambat, for that. Uh, Big Block Lawyer writes, and on the nose, I'm getting Captain Crunch Crunch Berries. I think that's kind of like a jab at me, but um, I would drink that whiskey if I was getting Captain Crunch Berries on the nose. Um, get me a bottle of that. Here's one from Bunchy032. They write, I have a friend who knows nothing about high quality alcohol and just buys blue label to be a pretentious prick. For almost 12 years, I have removed all the blue label from the bottle and replaced it with black. Never once did he ever notice and only came close on one occasion when a friend questioned whether he, where he bought it. I'm praying that he gets a taste for Louis XIII, and then I can swap that for Hennessy. I suppose he won't know the actual bottle is crystal either. Great review and video. I think blue is extremely delicious and smooth, but I love green just as a blend or a black. Um, that's hilarious. Um, that's a great way to get yourself some uh, blue label for a good price. And yeah, if he goes to Louis XIII, uh, buying Hennessy and replacing that, also great value for you too. But that kind of just goes to show you that obviously there is like, a prestige level with Johnny Walker Blue. You know, people do buy it just for the status symbol. Um, and I case that's the thing, right? It's like, it's a high price scotch you have in your bar. Everyone kind of knows what it is, um, but hilarious thing. So thanks for sharing that. Um, really, really funny stuff. Uh, here's a comment from Tony Yu. He says, slurry in Canadian is funny, eh, hoser? What's that a boot? Now, <laughs> I don't think I have a Canadian accent, but maybe I do. My girlfriend's nodding your head. Yes, I do have. I don't, obviously when you have the accent, you don't hear it yourself, but hey, what can I say? You know, what's all that a boot? Anyway, um, here's one from Joss Johnson. He says, fuck Canada. Fuck Canada. What did Canada ever do to you? We're like the nicest country in the world. So fuck you, Josh. And lastly, um, here's a really like heartfelt, awesome comment by Hey Guys. Um, he kind of, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but he kind of just writes about how him and his father shared a bottle of Johnny Walker Green um, back when he had turned legal drinking age and his dad had kind of saved it for him um, way back in 1994 and gave it to him when he was uh, legal drinking age. Um, and they shared it once again when his dad was uh, in the hospital sick and um, kind of on his deathbed and they finished the bottle um, just a little bit before he passed. So really awesome story. Thank you so much for sharing that. And I think that's kind of what it's all about. Um, it's all about like sharing experiences um, with people you love, people you care about, and kind of remembering those good times. And uh, you know, sharing a bottle of whiskey can kind of like, um, can kind of do that to people. And I think that's what I like most about it. That's what I like, I like sharing um, good conversation with people you love and uh, whiskey you enjoy. Thank you very much for sharing that. Really, really appreciate it. Um, all right, let's go on to this tasting. So I poured every, this is the uh, little sample that I did, the blend of all uh, seven bottles together. So I'm just gonna tell you what I get on the nose here. So I get a lot of like nice fruit notes. Kind of reminds me of a little bit between the 18 year old and the gold. And in the background, you get a little bit of smoke. And that Johnny Walker Double Black coming through a little bit. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. But mostly like 
um, like Apple Notes, Pear Notes. Definitely get a lot of like grain, get that kind of like grain whiskey note too. All right, let's try a palette. Hmm. Okay. So it is kind of what do you expect? You get nice baked goods, you get fresh apples, you get that grainy kind of note, that maltiness. You get a little bit of smoke. I kind of wish I maybe poured a little bit more double black in here just to bump out that smoke a bit more because it's not, it's not that strong. But just a little bit in the background and then you get a little bit of chocolate. Pretty decent. It's not bad. Um, I would take it over the red. <laughs> but um, I think maybe just a little bit too many conflicting notes in this for me. Um, I think on, these whiskeys on their own are just kind of better. But kind of a fun little experiment. Um, how is everyone doing in the chat? Uh, I'm gonna chat with you guys here. Hope you guys are doing all right. Um, appreciate it. This is like my first premiere video that I've ever done before. Um, I just wanted to take some time before I do the draw to talk about my Patreon. So I'm gonna talk about that right now. If you like the content on the channel and you wanna become a Patreon supporter, check out my page. Uh, I'll link to it in the description. For as little as a dollar a month, you can join. For $3 a month, that gives you the Super Social Club Insider tier. For that, you get access to all my exclusive videos. Right now, I got some stuff on uh, how-to guides for the secondary market. Whether you're looking to get in on raffles, buying on the secondary, selling on the secondary, uh, UK auctions, I kind of scratch the surface on all those different topics. Kind of let you know what to expect, how to do it, the ins and the outs. Um, if you want to get into raffles or lottery draws, I walk you through exactly how to do that and then I link to all the different uh, places you can go to find that kind of stuff. So if that interests you, check that out. The next tier up is the Drink My Bar VIP level. That's $5 a month. It automatically enters you into a monthly draw for your chance to win a sample from one of my best bottles in my bar. Um, there's five bottles to choose from. The winner each month will choose one of the five bottles to get a two ounce sample from. So there's that tier. Um, with that tier is also included in the, in the insider tier, so you get both. Lastly, it's the Sipper Social Club Influencer tier. With this tier, you get free Sipper Social Club merchandise. Upon signing up, you can choose between a free t-shirt or a free whiskey glass. Then, once you've been a dedicated supporter, I send you all new Sipper Social Club merchandise absolutely for free. Plus, you get to dictate the show. Let me know if there's a bottle you want to see reviewed. I'll try to make that happen and you can vote on my queue of upcoming reviews to see which one you want to see next. Plus you get all previous tiers included in this as well. So check that out. Um, thank you very much for all my Patreon supporters. I very much appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, if you don't feel like joining Patreon, but you want to get some Super Social Club merchandise, um, here's a list of what I have. Just email me at supersocialclub at gmail.com. I can get it shipped out to you. So thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Um, let's get to the draw. All right, so here's how the draw is gonna work. There were 967 comments on the video. Now that's not including responses to comments and whatever else. So just pure comments, um, 967. So what I'm gonna do, um, if you commented last, like uh, Neil uh, Johns here did, you're number 967. If you commented first, you are number one, and uh, that's uh, Mo's, I guess it's Mo's you Mike. So you're number one. So if you commented first, you're one all the way up to 960, whatever it was. So what I'm gonna do is just use a random number generator here on Google uh, from numbers one to 967. All right, so just, you know, just refresh this. Number generator, one to 967. Okay, so we're ready to go. Again, just thank you very much for everyone commenting. Um, really, really appreciate it. Uh, whoever wins, just email me at supersocialclub at gmail.com and I will ship you out this nice little prize package here. All right, so here we go. The winner of the Super Social Club Johnny Walker Core Range video is number 201. 
201. 201 is Scott Teague. Congratulations, sir. You are the winner. Like I said, just email me at supersocialclub at gmail.com and I will get the sent out to you. Congratulations, sir. So I feel that since there was so much awesome positive response to this video and so many of you left a comment, I gotta do at least a couple more giveaways. So what I've done, I've assembled um, two more packages to give away. This time I just did one ounce samples of my four favorites, which is the blue, the 18 year old, the double black and the green, plus a Super Social Club uh, glass. So I'm gonna do two more draws. Um, two people will each win uh, one more little package deal here. So let's go, we got two more to do. Uh, thank you so much again. And here's our next winner is number 569. 569, that is Wang Hang, or Hang, sorry if I mispronounced your name. Wayne, you are the winner of the next package. Congratulations, sir. Uh, again, email me and I'll get this out to you. And we got one more to do. Here it is, our last winner. Number 768, 768, Fat Kid, Fat City. Congratulations, you are the winner. Again, email me and I'll get that out to you. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Um, really, really appreciate it. As always, have a good one. Cheers.